Oh, have we Me? started? Bumbo! Bumbo, yeah. Bumbo, 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 Hello. Oh, um, uh, hello. Welcome to Hermitcraft Season 10. Um, it's really good to have you all here. And uh, we have uh, some new people on the server. Should I announce those? Should I, should I point it in their general direction? Is that a good yeah. idea? Yeah. Make yeah. them yeah. 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 Let's all look at okay. them. Let's all look at them. Let's all look at them. Yay! Yes, there. Why are they going to places? Yeah, they're completely separate ends. Uh, yeah. So we've got... Yeah. Oh, my no! No! Oh! 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 Put him out! 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 Go! I got it! Go! The season is changed. Right. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's a really bad start. No one punched yeah. me. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> what would happen if oh someone punched goodness. me right now? Yeah, well, let, oh, let's why explain so why that's bad. relevant. So this season, we're going to be playing a brand new game of Demise, which is kind of like pseudo hardcore. Now, obviously, if you die in hardcore, you're, you know, your world ends. That's not going to happen here, but you do join the dead team. But there's a little bit of a twist this time. So if you please don't, don't, because it will, the game will end really quickly. If you, if you die, your name will turn red and you become temporarily a reaper. And your job is to kill someone else who has not died yet. Okay. And if you then, if you succeed that as a reaper, you then join the dead team and you can, you can rest easy. The last person alive, the very last person, will receive a very big, important mystery gift that we all know, but the audience won't know till later, and I think everyone desperately wants the prize. Yeah, okay? it's very special. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> the key thing here is it must be a non-PVP kill. You've got to get creative with it. That doesn't mean that you can't punch someone off a cliff or whatever, but it just can't be go up to them and whack them with a sword, because that sucks. So, yeah, that's the game. Okay. Try and stay alive for as long as possible, mm -hmm. people. So, as far as early game Minecraft goes, you know the drill. Punch wood, then essentially instantly craft stone tools just by mining a village house in our case. And then, since we had a stone axe, we might as well attack the golem. And golems drop between three and five iron ingots, so it's a very easy source of iron. I actually got all of my iron this way to make my iron tools and my iron armor. After slaying the golem and getting some iron stuff, we decided to make a small temporary base where we ran into a one Mr. B double O there. Cub! It me! What up? Oh my, you got a saddle! Yeah, go for oh, it, man. Oh, this is a nice speed as well. You can have that one if you want him. No, no, never, never. I would sure? never. Without giving back? You have multiple saddles? I got, I got another one. I got no, another you do one. not. Do All you right. want this one? Do you want this one? Huh? Yes. What do you want from me? You got, you have any diamonds or anything like that? I will give you a diamond sword, sharpness one. Done. Yeah? Yeah. <gasps> Deal. Oh. Nice. Cub, this is huge. That's Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ito's man. Ito's going Appreciate to be it. so jealous. Appreciate it, yeah. That's uh, beautiful. We, what what made you choose that horse? I punched him and he was the fastest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He ran the fastest away from you. That's a good yeah. that's good testing. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It works well. So ladies and gentlemen, be very welcome to season ten of Hermitcraft. And yeah, at this point you can see we've pretty much done all the basic stuff. We punched trees, we got wood tools, stone tools, iron tools, and we also got this sweet slick diamond sword that B dubs traded us for the saddle, as you hopefully saw. Uh, but we're at the point now where we got enough stuff. Like, we got, like, two chests of stuff. And if we continue to accumulate more, it's just going to become more and more problematic to move later. So I got to find a good spot to stick around. Now, the spawn village is behind me there. That's where Doc and Corrales and a bunch of other people, Hypno is over there as well. They're setting up some villager trading stuff. So it might be worthwhile to be close to that. Uh, this lava pool is actually spawn itself behind me. So I'm thinking I'm going to challenge myself to build a house only out of wood and stone. And that's it. Like we could have all the variants and things of those materials, but just having a, a house out of stone and wood, that way I don't overcomplicate it. Because I have a tendency to use very expensive things in my builds, uh, as many of you know from previous seasons. So let's get on in here. You see we have just a little thing cleared out. 
And yeah, this is all the stuff we have accumulated, including some really good stuff like these goat horns. Which is pretty cool. And we also got, yeah, a bunch of iron built up. And yeah, we need to go get some more wood and we need to get more stone, actually. So <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to pack this stuff up, move on over, and then we'll have, yeah, somewhat of a good area to start our base in. All right, so as you can see here, we now have a house starting to form, and I want to give you guys sort of an overview of how I build stuff in the game uh, and how I get started. I know this usually helps me, so it might help you as well. So the way I usually start is I usually get some blocks and place down the foundation of the build. So that's what these stone bricks are. These are the foundation of the build, and these basically determine how big the build is going to be. Um, so then... My next thing I think of is depth. How do I create depth in the build? Because if you make depth into your build, like incorporate it into your builds, then it usually looks pretty good. So I started off with these uh, wood pillars here. So these things are just, yeah, oak log pillars. And these are gonna be like what structurally supports the house. Uh, and then to create depth, you just put blocks in front of it, like I've done here with these stripped uh, oak wood. Uh, here and also we're missing a block here. It looks like there we go um, So yeah, we did that to get a little bit of depth We can get even more depth if we put in some like cobblestone walls Up the sides like this that can help out a little bit uh, and then uh, We can also put in blocks on the inside to make depth on the inside So I'm thinking either it's gonna be stairs like this or slabs like this and you get the added benefit of you know, having a little bit of like a floorboard type thing on the inside here. So that's going to be pretty cool. So something something like this. And then once we get these pillars built up and the walls put in around here, uh, what we can then do is we can use these areas as a window sill. So like if I put down glass panes here, uh, it's going to make a really nice window sill where part of the window will be on the inside, part of it will be on the outside, and then you'll have this extra buffer uh, adding a little bit of depth. So we're going to have, like, if we have the wall, the block here, this block, and then a block in like this, plus the glass pane, glass, uh, pane that's going to be like one, two, three, four, five layers of depth in only like a two-block space. You'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. But that's basically my idea with the, uh, the sides of the house. Uh, obviously, this is going to be the front door right here, so we'll have to put a door down there. And I also want to have a back door out here so that we can have like a little bit of like a ladder type deal coming up from the ground, something like this. And inside, I'm going to have like, I think sort of like a natural theme on the inside, just because that's a fairly easy one to do. And we want to get this house built because I have a problem in <laughs> Minecraft. I just don't like building... Uh, starter houses or starter bases. I just go immediately to the huge base. So I want to try the starter base thing out. So we're making good progress here. And uh, yeah, I need to go get a bunch more stone. I think I'm actually out of stone currently. Uh, yeah, we have some smooth stone, I guess. And that's about it. So we got to go mine some stone. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Good news, everyone. We got the outside of the house done. Here is what it's looking like, as you can see. Got a nice stone roof with a little bit of pattern, like a patterning up here, I guess, uh, with some different stone types used, regular stone, stone bricks, cobblestone. Wanted to keep it pretty basic, though, so I didn't add, like, the moss or anything like that. Uh, if we go inside, you can see this is what the interior looks like. And then up here, uh, this is where I'm going to have, like, my bed and some basic storage. Uh, although I do want to, on the side here, I want to keep the organic vibe, so I'm going to put down some, like, wood stairs that go up like this, that sort of uh, block the the stone roof here. Um, so, yeah, that's something we're definitely going to do. However, guys, I've decided that I would like a house uh, with a view. Like, the views out here, they're pretty good. But it turns out that uh, basically people have been claiming spots, and I'm in a spot that is claimed. So uh, we got to pick up and move this entire house, and I think we're going to go over to the west over there. Uh, somewhere. Uh, I think close to Ito and Tango, I think is where I'm going to be uh, basing this season. So that should be pretty cool. Anyways, we got to get down here and we got to move this entire house, build a big crane, and then chuck it all the way over there.
Hey, Cub. Hey, hey, hey. What you building? Uh, I'm actually tearing down this house and moving it elsewhere. Oh, really? Wait, did you build this house? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it and it's going down and it's going somewhere else. Yep, that's the plan. This looks sick. Building a big crane and just chucking it a couple hundred blocks away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that saddle, I hope the sword has been working out. For oh, you. yeah, dude. It's, this has been a lifesaver, like literally, like... Okay. Definitely, okay. definitely a good trade. Definitely a good okay. trade. Okay, I'm still uh, emotionally indebted to you. Uh, so really, if you do ever need anything, because man, this horse has just made me so happy. I so I left you. I went and got a horse. Yep. And I got this one. Boy, he's a zoomer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's good, so man. I'm, I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad. so happy. Yeah, I haven't eaten a single piece of food since. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Fantastic. So it, it does help a lot it, with that. It does help a lot. So helps so much. Yeah. So really, if you ever need any... Hold on. Where did this stupid... Oh, oh he's in a hole. He's a oh. friend. He's a friend. He that's, found... That's he my found horse. yours. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a sign. We have to breed them someday. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. This guy's yes. pretty quick, too. Not quite as fast as that one, though, but yeah. Really? Yeah, Etho oh. had a fast one too. He was he was he looking. He did. To, he said he wanted to breed with this guy. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad he got a horse. He was so sad yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. He was. He was. He was riding around. He was happy. He was happy. With the okay. Good. 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 <laughs> All right. I'm off. Good luck with All your right. move. Yeah. Thanks, beat ups. Appreciate it, man. See you soon. See ya. Our house is now completed, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look. Looks exactly the same as it did before, but. In a brand new location. Look at this. So we're looking out. Right in front of us is actually Pearlescent Moon's area. Then over here we got Etho. That's the bamboo sticking out of the ground. Uh, and then we got, I believe, Cleo on the other side of this mountain. And then Tango is like over there. So pretty good group of hermits around us here, which is really, really cool. Also on the inside of this, I've been doing a little bit of starting decoration i guess like starting to see how i want this thing laid out uh again this is just going to be a basic starter base uh we got some stuff smelting here we're going to use this to make decorated pots uh, i'd like to get a lot of these workstations in here so we can do some things here but i don't have the resources to do that just yet and so that's what it is uh we also have our bed up here now we got some storage starting to organize that a bit up here also got storage in the ceiling here just a few basic things, you know, just sitting in here uh, for now. So, yeah, starting to get organized. But, guys, this season, I really want to go heavy on the automation. In particular, I want to utilize the new crafter block, this guy, which, if you don't know what this is, this is a block that can craft anything that a player can craft, but automatically whenever it receives a redstone pulse. I would craft one, but I actually have... Four iron to my name, plus seven iron ingots. So, or iron nuggets, rather. So, can't really craft it quite yet. But, once we can craft it, this thing is going to unlock a whole new world of potential for farms and automation and stuff. And so, that's what I'm going to be leaning heavily into this season. Uh, so, I want to make my first crafting contraption uh, in this episode. Because it's going to help me out a ton when it comes to uh, doing things in the early game. So, basically, uh, we need to go get resources and minerals and iron and redstone and diamonds and impro improve our gear and stuff uh, because we are actually being hunted. Etho is actually less than, like, 200 blocks out. I know he has... I know he has skulk sensors, so I'm expecting at some point this base will be trapped. Uh, so I'm keeping my water bucket on me in case I need to bucket clutch or something, but... Yeah, we need to go get resources, and we got to avoid Etho. So let's go out, see if we can get some good materials, see if we can get some uh, iron and stuff so we can make a crafting contraption today. So right at the beginning of our mining expedition, we went down into a cave, and the first cave we went into, this happened. Wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> well, we are now a reaper. All right. <laughs> Dang. That was crazy. Yeah, did not expect to get absolutely shredded by an enchanted bow skeleton and a zombie with the sword, but 
that's how things go sometimes. Luckily, we got all of our stuff back, uh, but we still need those resources. So I'm going to go get those. We are now a Reaper, so we do have to try and slay someone at some point. Uh, but yeah, for now, back to the mines. All right, guys, back from the mining trip. We're smelting up some iron now. We got about two stacks or so now of iron, which probably is not going to be enough, honestly, but we can always get more. But the thing that I am desperately low on, even more so than iron, is actually coal, which means that we can make very, very few torches to actually go mining because we need torches to light stuff up. That way we're not constantly in darkness and getting attacked from all sides by mobs. So today, what I want to do is I want to make a system that will automatically convert any wood log or wood block like this into planks and then into sticks and then convert all that wood into torches. Because if you guys recall, you can make wood into charcoal by just burning it. So that's what we're going to try and do today. We're going to make an automatic torch machine where I can just throw in wood that I mine from this plentiful forest. Like, we got plenty of trees around here. Uh, and that's going to make torches for me automatically so we can go caving with those. All right, guys, so we're ready to start this project now. Also, we got dogs and also animals in the back. So we're making progress. Got a little farm back here as well. Um, so things are looking up for us. But this project, Operation Torch, what are we doing? Well, here's the functionality I'm aiming for. In this barrel... This is where we put our oak logs. And then, in a barrel, maybe here, or maybe, let's, let's make it in the middle of the room. In a barrel right here, this guy comes up, not like you, come on, place it right, place it right, there we go. This guy shows up with torches, and that's it. Nothing else, no other input necessary, um, and yeah, that's, that's it, that's all there is to it. <laughs> So, um, what we're going to do is, if we think about the steps necessary for this, right? Let's get those logs back out. So, the steps are, first step, let me just clear out of space here. First step, we need to distribute the oak logs. Because not all the oak logs are going to go toward crafting planks and sticks. Some of them uh, will be going to the smelter to smelt into charcoal, which then will be the... Uh, the torch part of the torch, the, the burning part of the torch, obviously. So we got to split up the oak logs. Um, so then once that's done, uh, we distribute the items in a way such that we want to distribute planks. We want to distribute planks to uh, the bottom part of the furnace here. Because if you don't know, planks and logs burn exactly the same. Uh, but you get four times as many planks if you just craft up logs once. So we want that extra 4x... Uh, benefit there. Uh, then we also have to craft up some other logs to planks and then these planks into sticks. So then after that happens we need to put the oak planks into the top of a uh, sorry into the bottom of a furnace put a log into the top of a furnace like so and then that will smelt up and that will make charcoal over here, which just got sucked out into this hopper. Boom, charcoal. So then, once we have the charcoal, we want to have the charcoal and the, the sticks combined in a crafter like this to make torches. And then whenever we give this a redstone signal, bam, out come the torches. And then, once the torches have been created, we need a dropper elevator to send them into this barrel. That is the entire process we're going for here. <laughs> Bit complex, but not too complex if you break it down into its constituent parts. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and build the thing, and I will show you guys what it's looking like. I've already created an area down here for this thing. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get this thing going right now. All right, guys, so for the first part of this thing, we now have, I hope, done. We're about to test it out for the first time here. Uh, that is the item distributor. That's going to be what distributes our logs. So you can see uh, this actually distributes uh, things into eight different hoppers, and then it splits them up so that uh, one out of every eight comes into this hopper, 
then one out of eight comes into this hopper, and six out of eight, or three-fourths, go into this hopper. Uh, so we're going to see if we can get this distributed properly here. So if we come up here, I'm going to put in 24 logs right in here. And if we hurry, we might be able to see this. Yeah, so the comparator turns on and turns on this redstone. There's another one on the other side here. And then once it turns off, it should be distributing the items now. So we should see three logs here. Yeah, okay. We should see three logs here. Very good. And then we should see 18 in there. Nice, sweet. So these are the logs that are going to be turned into uh, the the charcoal. These are the logs that are going to be turned into the planks. And then these are going to be turned into the sticks. So... That system looks like it's working. I'm going to take out these logs once more. Uh, and yeah, with that now done, we can now actually make the proper system with the crafter. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to require me to dig out a little bit more area here, but we're on our way. So guys, while we're still getting resources for our torch creation machine, I thought it might be fun if we could go see if we can slay either B00 or Scar. Now, you might notice we got <laughs> some dogs around here. We got, I think, four dogs. It would be interesting. Maybe we can convince B00 and Scar that there's armadillo armor in the game. Ask them what they think. And then we could, like, tell them to punch the dog and see if the dogs can slay them. That might be... Might be worth a shot. If nothing else, we get a good, like, vantage point of where their base is and, like, where they're at. So we can set up some traps in the future. So while this stuff is smelting, uh, we're going to go out there and see if we can get a kill on either one of them. Fellas, fellas, fellas. Oh my goodness. Dude. What's going on? I stole, never mind. Not, not much. I um, didn't steal anything, never. Not much. What are you Wait, doing? You oh, pick head? Yeah, I oh, have Cub, pick head. Cub, oh Cub, my God, you can store him here. About, I didn't even think about it. Cub, 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 Cub. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cub, Cub, Cub. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Turn, turn up. What? You got no, two no. boxes. Just, just look at the dog. Turned look up. at the dog. Look at how funny they are. Those dogs. What? 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 What crazy clout? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Dude, Ren Ren did this day one for like five minutes straight. Did oh, he for real? Did. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, no. Ren diggity. Ren diggity. I mean, this is about as adult as our content's ever got. <laughs> If this yeah. turns into content, yeah, this can't. Yep. Surely it can't. I, uh, I, uh, earlier I got about four or five people Ooh. in a row and told them to start hitting the note block. So, <laughs> okay, it's okay, my it's content now. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Cool. That's my video. That's treacherous. All right, that's let's fun. listen to pigs. Yeah, put the pig on there. Let's uh, kill Cubs horse. No, I'm just kidding. How dare you? I'll never. Horse, that's my future stud. That's you like a the stud horse, horse for me. You like the, the armadillo armor, cool Scar? Sound. The wolf armor? What? <gasps> what? What? We got that now. You not see it? In in the world? Yeah. It, it's, Wait, on the, cover, it's on the wolf. You... It is? It is? Wait, is he messing? Oh, fresh animations. Does it not? Hold on. It's not showing. Here, you might want to hit the wolf and see if it'll show up and update the wolf. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me look. Let me I gotta look. turn my resource pack off. I got f the f animations mod. Oh, right. Yeah. Hey, there ain't no armor on that dog. You scoundrel. <laughs> Dang it. You scallywag. You I was hoping to scoundrel. get an easy kill. I didn't uh, realize he had so many. He really could have killed us. Darn it. He could have. I don't even have a pair of pants on, for God's sakes. That's true. Oh, yeah, this looks inappropriate. I'm sorry. Let me, let me take the chest plate off. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much better. It, does, oh, it looks more appropriate. Yeah, yeah, that looks better. No, I wonder if My I just... didn't give me a pair of pants. I just tapped one of you guys. No, no there's no hey, tapping. Cup, they still I'll might attack. i right now. How many diamonds do you want to, to be nice, be kind to <laughs> You're paying me off? Okay. Yeah, I'll pay you as many diamonds as you want to, to like, put me on a, a, a white list. All right, all right. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Yeah? You pay me one diamond each, I'll leave you guys alone. For, for now. For now. All right. 
There's you, one. This one's for Scar. All right, all right. Well, no, I'll, I'll pay. I'll pay. No, I'll pay. I just don't have my diamond on. I have one yeah, diamond. Yeah, you can pay me back. Not you mine, owe him. But I picked you it owe up. him. It was the whole thing. All right. Well, this will keep you guys safe for now, but I might be okay. back. All right. All right. And this I'll time I won't. I won't come in, in such a nice mood. I'll be. Oh, I'll be looking for a nice sleigh. Mood. See ya. I'll be honest. He came nice. Well, guys, we didn't get a kill, but we did kill him financially. Two diamonds. This is huge. This is huge. We actually used two more diamonds to make an enchanting table, and now we got some extra left over, so that's fantastic. Uh, but, also good news, we now have completed the torch creation machine, and I have crafted my last torch this season in episode one. Fantastic. Look at these torches. So let me show you how this works. So, we'll put in, let's say, a stack of oak logs. The oak logs get filtered down. We come over here, hopefully we can see it. You can see the comparator is on, meaning wood is being sorted through. And then very quickly here, we'll see the crafter shoot through a bunch of wood. These wood logs, making it into sticks after it gets uh, all taken out. It takes a little bit of time. Bum, 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 bum. All right, boom, there it goes. Crafting into wood. The wood is crafting into sticks. The sticks have all been crafted now. And the stuff is now filtering into the furnace, so charcoal is being created. And you'll see down here is our crafter with the torch recipe here. Uh, and yeah, this will now create torches, and you can see the redstone flashing here. That is sending torches up the torch tower into the area above. So if we get on up here, let's just come on up. We should see, let me just take all these out so we can see new ones coming in. There we go, some new torches coming in. And it takes a little bit of time, but this is not a machine we need to run super, super quick. I just want to have, like, a repository of torches that we can come by and... Yeah, there they are coming in. Beautiful! You love to see it. Oh my goodness, that's glorious. That is absolutely glorious. So, yeah, never again will we have to craft any torches up like that. Uh, we can just put in our wood here. That will automatically craft down into a bunch of torches. And, yeah. We're pretty much set now. So with our torches now rolling in, I'm gonna call that an episode for now, guys. Uh, yeah, a lot of stuff still to do. We gotta upgrade our tools. Gotta upgrade our armor and stuff. Uh, so yeah, tons of stuff still to do and automate and craft, and it's gonna be a great time this season. Uh, I've got big, big plans. Uh, in fact, I've had a plan. I've dreamt of a plan like this, I should say, since 2014 in my Let's Play world, uh, but you can never do it properly, but now we can, so. I have a big plan for something that I've wanted to make for a very, very long time. A dream, you might say, uh, that is finally going to come to fruition this season. But that's like, that's like 30, 40 farms in the future. So, anyways, guys, for now, thank you so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.